What's going on, tubes? Here is the, oh wow, look at that bug. Crazy. Is it gonna zoom? I mean, focus. Of course not. Why would it? Anyway, as you see, I started getting the stuff put in miscellaneous places, and uh, so far, so good. This is just stuff that was just scattered around in here that I've been picking up, and uh, found somewhere for it to go. I'm not done, but it's a good start. Okay. I am a tired somebody. And it, it's just like 11.30 right now. And I've still got stuff to do. But anyways, it doesn't matter about all that. How's y'all's been? Excuse me. How has y'all's day been? Mine was meh, you know what I mean? Um, got up, got dressed, brushed teeth, drunk coffee, loaded up what I needed to load up as far as my water I take with me to work, headed out. Oh, gave my dog a treat. I give him a treat like every morning. Dinner sticks. Supposed to help, you know, keep the, the plaque off his little teeth. Well, I say little, but they're not little. And uh, they can put a healthy bite on them. But I've got bugs out here flying all around everywhere. You see, I put up this here uh, light or whatever. And it, I can't tell that it's doing anything. Damn, there's a butterfly in here. Hey, bud. It ain't daytime. I don't even know why you're in here. I know what's going to happen to him. It's either a mole, I mean, a, a bat's going to get him, or a praying mantis. One of the two. And it's a pretty awesome looking butterfly. Let's see if he'll sit still long enough for me to show you guys. Look at that. That's awesome, man. That wouldn't so happen to mean like good luck or anything, would it? Just flying around. Attracted by the light, I suppose. Ah, and screwed up the whole plan here. Guessing by all the lights, he probably got attracted in here. And now, uh, I don't know. 
They helped the butterfly though, that's for sure. See, I've got most of the trees. You know, most of the trees, for some reason, seem to attract them. And, uh, you know, I, I came home earlier today and seen it was like a bunch of them out here around them. But, uh, He'll just hang out right there. I'll cut out the lights. And maybe I can get him out of here. Maybe. Oh, I forgot. The frogs might might get him too. I have got. There's not a day that I've not came in here so far. I kid you not. And there hadn't been a pile of poop somewhere that a damn toad hadn't. Sh shit out somewhere, you know what I mean? But, uh, uh those flies and got steel now. But anyway, um, yeah, not a whole lot going on. It's a typical Tuesday. I can rest in tomorrow a little bit. Thank the Lord. But, uh, What was I going to talk about? Now I've been got kind of sidetracked now with all this. Well, with that up there, I'm sitting there now, resting. Um, as far as that sub goes, that sub is a Pioneer shallow mount, but I don't know how many watts. I haven't looked it up. Um, I don't know what the the uh, airspace for rating wise is for it or anything. I don't know nothing about it, other than it was in this truck. It was a crew cab. It was under the seat. And no, excuse me, behind the behind the rear seat. And the amp was in the the you know say the box was here and the amp was right here. And I mean, it was it was a pretty simple setup. However, the guy really didn't know what the hell he was doing as far as the ground. You guys have seen it. The two self-tapping screws into the ground. Oh yeah, big time. They could have just easily just ran it just a little bit farther, and you know, use a bigger um, I hook, I you know, I cook connector if that's what you want to call it, eyelet. Fish eye, well, I don't know. Anyway, you, you get what I'm saying. But, um, cause, I mean, it was like where he had it drilled at, there was like three inch difference. And in the three inch difference, he had where he could have, you know, bolted it in. Whatever. My boy that works with me, whatever, he got the amp, he's gonna put it in his town car. It's not gonna be enough to push what he's got for it to sound optimum. But it'd be a good high amp. No, it's, it's a big time. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it as far as the day. I did cut some grass. As you can see, well, you may be able to see, I don't know, but the mower's not here. It's sitting over there. And, uh,. I got to finish it up tomorrow. I got like 80% of the grass cut today and the weeds around the house, the grass around the house, the grass around the trees, excuse me, the grass in the ditch, the weeds in the ditch, is all growing up extremely high because of the push mower going down and, you know, I had it going and then it decided to take the shit again. What can you do, you know? So with that being said, I think we're gonna, when we can, and hopefully soon, which is not gonna matter right here in a few months anyway, because it's gonna be fall soon, the grass will start dying, and uh, won't be no need to worry about cutting our grass for the rest of the year. I'll put the mower over here in the corner and put the cover over it, and call it what it is.
But it was something that I was meaning to talk about. Other than all that. And I can't remember what it was. Because we covered in last night's late video. We covered uh, the shithead on Craigslist and then the shithead that had emailed me about the old garage door. Which does bring me to a point. He messes me today, right? <clears throat> messes me today. Says to me, I still haven't made up my mind yet if I want the door or not. All right. Then he asked me another question talking about, is all the hardware included? Well, no shit, dude. I said that in the fucking post. When I put the door on, you know, on Craigslist for sale, I have taken pictures of the door, where the door is broke, and what comes with the door. That's it. Nothing else. They didn't use none of the old parts on the new door. Nothing. Everything that's on the old door is still there with the old door. Outside. You know? And, uh, I mean, you know, this is just a simple yay or nay. It's not, it, it's not, I haven't decided yet. You know what I mean? It ain't none of that crap. Come on. I mean, just, come on. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And then people on Facebook, there are some worse than turds too. Every day it's about the Confederate flag this or about Cecil the line that. Yeah, I mean, come on. Things change, you know. And don't, don't get me wrong, I support the Confederate flag by all means. But enough is enough, okay? That's it. You know, there's no more. The it's just like it's like beating a dead horse. What's the point? They have removed it. They have banned it from certain places for as far as being for sale and or um, well, I mean, yeah, for sale. eBay, most of your general merchandise stores, Walmart. Kmart, Toys R Us, anywhere. Anywhere who sold anything to do with the General League, anywhere that sold any kind of merchandise to do as far as the Confederate flag itself. I mean, you can't even, I think I think I typed in something to do with the Confederate flag on eBay the other day, and the only thing that came up was something about a book. I mean, I may have not looked in to the right spot, I don't know. But some things are worth fighting for, and right now that's not one of them. Do I think it was wrong? Yeah. But am I upset about it? No, not really. Uh, I have more important shit to be worrying about right now than to be worrying about a fucking flag. But that's just me. You know, it, it doesn't matter. You may be so hell bent about it that you know it's all you think about from the time you get up to the time you go to bed, and that's a miserable way to fucking live, man. I couldn't imagine it. And as far as Cecil the Lion goes, yeah, there was no 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 sense in doing that shit either. I mean, but I mean it happens every day. And it's not just a lion. It's it's a whole lot of things. 
But I'm nobody to sit here and judge anybody for what they do and how they do it. I mean, it'll get dealt with one way or the other in the end anyway. But that's pretty much all I got. I'm going to uh, finish up out here, attempt to try to get this butterfly out, which I may not even, well, I, I kind of need to try to get it out because once I close the door, it's going to get hot as balls in here and it's going to end up dying because <laughs> there's really no way for it to get out because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be smart enough to crawl through that gap right there to the other side. But it is what it is. Anyway, enough of me yapping about nonsense. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later.